Hello guys, welcome to Daily Chinese with Cassie channel. So today I want to bring you a topic when you feel you are burning out in working right now. So are you feel like you're burning out in your working right now? Are you suffering from your working stress in your working environment right now? Or do you push yourself too hard to lead yourself into the burning out age? Okay, so today let's talk about the burnout out topic and step by step to learn Chinese as well as solve your problem with me together. I don't know if it's good or not when you feel burning out about your working because when you are a freelancer like me, um, when you're burning out, which just means like maybe you gain more clients than before. But let's get back to our topic. So let's say you are suffering about a burning out for quite a long time. And how can you solve your problem? Okay, so in here, I want to invite you to take a very, very deep breath with me and start to listing three things that you feel like you might burning out. And that one is for your original reason. So in Chinese, I would say, listing three things. 让你在工作上燃烧殆尽的 主要原因。One more time. Okay, so are you ready to figure out this reason with me? I know it must be take some time. So before you take some time and listing your three things, subscribe my channel. And if you want to learn more Chinese topic with me, Share this video and then comment your idea down below. I will find your idea and then share with you guys about the Chinese topic. All right, I assume you already found out those three reasons that you might feel burnt out. Asking yourself first, can I solve this problem by myself? In Chinese, you can say, 我可以自己解决这个问题吗? One more time. 我可以自己解决这个问题吗? And then, how can I solve it? Yes, asking yourself about this problem. How can I solve it? So in Chinese, you can say, 我该如何解决呢? 我该如何解决呢? So let's move to the third step. If I cannot solve this problem by myself, so how can I find someone who I trusted to solve this burning out reason with me. So in Chinese, this is a little bit complicated, but it's very useful, okay? So listen carefully. 我该如何找一个信任的人 陪我一起解决这个问题呢? One more time. 我该如何找一个信任的人 陪我重新安排 这个行程呢? Okay, and those three questions, three steps. First, asking yourself, can I solve this problem by myself? If no, then you have to ask yourself one more time. How can I find someone who I trusted to solve this burning out problem reason with me together? But if you can solve this problem by yourself, then you have to ask yourself, how can I solve this problem? Okay, so let's move to the last part. If you follow last two tips, you must know what is the biggest issue about your burning out reason are you facing now. But if you haven't noticed yet, that's okay. Take your time and then you always can watch the previous clip to follow the step and then find out your burning out reason. Okay, and here is the last tips and also a suggestion for you guys if you are feel burning out right now so i want to say to you let something go in your life you cannot always hold that things in your hand all the time so in chinese you can say 抛下手中的一些事情, 别再握着它了, 
，抛下手中的一些事情，别再握着它了。Okay, trust me. 相信我。If you follow those tips and steps, you can find out you are burning out biggest issue, original reason, and solve it. Okay, guys, it's about time to take a deep breath again. So now it's about the time. Let's try to learn some vocabularies that we use it in today's sentence. So now it's the vocabulary time, and then we can say "burn out" is our topic for today. We can say 燃烧殆尽燃烧殆尽 And then in the video, I always ask you guys to. Take a deep breath. So take a deep breath. In Chinese, you can say, 深呼吸 One more time, 深呼吸 And then I always ask you guys, can you solve this problem by yourself? Solve. We can say, 解决解决 And then you have to find someone who you trust to company with you to rearrange this schedule. Trust, we can say, 信任信任 And the last one is, trust me. I told you guys, trust me. If you follow these two tips and steps, you must to know your biggest issue of your burning out reason. Trust me. In Chinese, we say, 相信我相信我 I tell you guys, listing three things in Chinese. We say, 列举三项事情 One more time, 列举三项事情 And then I ask you guys, how can I solve it? So in Chinese, you can say, 我该如何解决我该如何解决 And then, can I solve this problem by myself? 我可以自己解决这个问题吗？我可以自己解决这个问题吗 ？And then this is the most tips I want to say to you guys. I know it's hard to let something go immediately, but you must to do it, or you might push yourself into the burning out edge or just fall down. Let something go in your life. In Chinese, we say 抛下手中的一些事情。抛下手中的一些事情。I appreciate you watch this video until here. And if you like today's topic, like this kind of healing, curing video, and as well as you can learn Chinese as well, just comment down below and tell me your idea. So if you like today's topic, thumbs up. And if your friends are suffering about a burning out issue, you can send this video to them. But of course, if They want to learn Chinese. Okay, so I wish you enjoy for today's learning journey, and I hope can see you next time in my video. Again, see you guys next time. Bye.